Hi everybody, welcome to Educating Adventures. Today we are going to be talking all about the really common and the really bizarre ways that animals not only find their food, but also how they compete and collect their food. So let's go ahead and learn all about the incredible ways that animals eat. When we think about all of the different things that animals need to survive, one really important thing that we might think of is eating or finding food. And finding food is something really important that every single animal on the planet needs to do to survive. So I want to give you guys a second to think, why do animals need food? What is the benefit of eating food? This is a good time to stop the video so that you can discuss as a class why you think animals need food. Okay, are you ready? So animals need food because food is what gives us and all different types of animals the energy that we need to survive. For our bodies to do all of the processes that it does to keep us healthy, it gives us the energy that we need to get out of bed and brush our teeth and hang out with our friends. So food is really important because it gives us energy. And there's lots of different types of ways that animals find food and collect food, but there's kind of three main types of ways that animals eat. So you might have heard of a word called an herbivore. So an herbivore is an animal that only eats plants. And we might think of an elephant or a tortoise. And both elephants and tortoises have really special teeth that help them to eat plants. Elephants have big grinding teeth, so when they close their mouth, their big teeth grind up all of that vegetation between their teeth. And a tortoise, they don't have any teeth at all. A tortoise uses the edge of its mouth, which is kind of like a bird's beak, to slice through any vegetation that they might be eating. You might have also heard of a carnivore. And a carnivore is an animal that only eats meat, that only eats other animals. And you might think of a lion or a shark, both of which have sharp teeth that they use to slice through their food. So again, their teeth are really special to help them eat their food. You might also know of an omnivore. And an omnivore eats both plants and animals. And an omnivore is an animal like a person, a human. We are omnivores. We eat meat and we eat vegetables and we have special teeth that allow us to grind up the vegetation, but also to slice through any of that meat that we might be eating. So all of these different things that help animals to eat the type of food that they eat are called adaptations. And adaptations are things that animals have or things that they do that help them to survive in their particular ecosystem. So let's take a look at some amazing adaptations that help animals find and collect their food. When it comes to finding food, most animals use their senses. So lots of different animals use their sense of smell to help them find food. So if we think of an animal like a turkey vulture, which is known to be able to smell food from miles away while they're soaring up in the sky, they can smell their food and head right in the direction to where they might find something to eat. We also have animals like Komodo dragons that have a really fantastic sense of smell. And just like snakes, they have a very special tongue and something at the top of their mouth that actually helps them smell with their tongue. When they stick out their tongues, they pick up all of those scent particles and they flick it up into that special thing at the top of their mouth that helps them to smell where any of that food might be. And we might also think of an animal like a bear. Bears are known to have an incredible sense of smell. They, could, they say that polar bears can actually smell a seal through more than a foot of ice. That is how good their sense of smell is. So lots of animals smell for their food in their environment. Lots of animals also use eyesight to help them find their food. A chameleon is really special because when we move our eyes back and forth, our eyes move in the same direction all the time. 
chameleons, they can move their eyes one by one or independently of one another. And that helps them see little bugs moving around in all sorts of different directions. Animals that hunt at nighttime are often known to have really good night vision. So if we think of an owl who does all of their hunting mostly at nighttime, they have really special eyes that help them to see in the dark. But of course there are animals that hunt during the day as well, like a cheetah. And a cheetah has black stripes underneath their eyes that we call malar stripes. That is just like when a football player puts those black marks under their eyes when the sun shines down, it helps reduce some of that glare. So any light that would normally be bouncing off of their face and kind of making it harder for them to see, those black stripes absorb some of that sunlight and makes it easier for them to see in the bright daytime sun. Another sense that animals will use to help them find their food is hearing. Some animals have a really incredible sense of hearing and can even hear things that people cannot hear, like an elephant. An elephant is able to hear the low rumbles of a thunderstorm from miles away and start moving in the direction of the storm because that's where all of the fresh food is going to be from all that rain that just fell. Animals like a fennec fox also have really huge ears that they can use to listen for any little bugs or little animals that might be moving around underneath the sand or the dirt in the desert where they live. So animals, they use a lot of different senses to find their food, but some animals also have a great memory and they can remember where they have found food in the past. So again, if we think about that elephant, if there is a really long drought, elephants are incredibly intelligent and they can remember places where they've gone in the past that have had fresh food during a drought. Animals like orangutans, who are also super smart, they kind of develop this calendar and this map in their head that tells them when the fresh fruit ripens and where in the forest they may go to find it. So all these different ways that animals use to find their food is just one half of the battle. Once they find their food, then they have to be able to catch or collect their food. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple examples of that. Let's start off with our carnivores. There's a couple major carnivores that are super popular that of course we have to discuss, like sharks. Sharks are known to kind of seek out the old, the weak, the sick animals. That way they have to use less energy in order to catch those animals that they want to eat. Remember we said animals eat food to get energy. They don't want to waste energy trying to get their food. Another strategy that animals like a leopard will use is sneaking up on their prey. So we call leopards ambush hunters because they use their camouflage, they stay low to the ground and they try to sneak up on any of those animals like gazelles that they maybe want to eat. And some carnivores actually use teamwork. If we think of African painted dogs who are incredibly successful hunters, they work together as a team to chase down different individuals until they can pick just one and then they all share in that meal. If we think about our herbivores or our plant eaters, of course, let's think about that elephant again. We know that elephants have a super long trunk that they can use to reach up and grab leaves and fruit from trees in places that other animals cannot reach. So that way they're kind of avoiding some of that competition. We've got animals that maybe aren't quite as big as an elephant, but are still able to get up to the top of those trees like a green iguana. Green iguanas have lots of special climbing abilities like sharp claws and long fingers that help them to climb way up high in the trees to reach all of those leaves that they like to eat. And camels are, again, a really good example of an animal who uses really cool adaptations to help them get their food. So a lot of animals cannot eat things that are covered in thorns. 
If we tried to eat a cactus or something, that would really hurt our mouths. But for camels, they have really flexible lips that can kind of move around in between the thorns. And the inside of their mouth, the skin is actually really hard, which helps prevent any of those thorns from poking into all of the different parts of their mouth. So now we have learned that not only is it a challenge for animals to find their food, but then they have to be able to reach it and collect it. They also have to be able to compete with other animals in the same area to be able to get that food. If we think of the African savanna, there's a lot of herbivores out there. There's a really special antelope called a gearnuck, who instead of eating grass like all the other antelopes, they have really special hips that allow them to stand up tall and reach leaves from trees. So that way they're kind of avoiding some of that competition. So animals have developed incredible adaptations to help them get all the energy that they need to survive. And I hope you guys now understand just how competitive it is out in the environment for all these different animals. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on these educating adventures. And I hope we see you guys next time.